Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the Pantsir S-1 anti-aircraft missile and gun system, also known as the SA-22 Greyhound, which is a Russian self-propelled surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery system designed for point defense against aircraft, helicopters, drones, and precision-guided munitions, a hybrid powerhouse that's become a staple of modern air defense for Russia and its allies amid escalating global threats. If you're a military tech enthusiast, a defense strategy buff, or just curious about the layered shield that's been both a savior and a target in conflicts like Ukraine, you're in for a real treat because the Panzer S-1 isn't just a missile launcher, it's a mobile, all-weather guardian blending radar-guided surface-to-air missiles with rapid-fire cannons to create a bubble of protection around high-value assets like command posts, airfields, or convoys, capable of engaging low-flying threats from as close as 200 meters to 20 kilometers away while tracking up to 20 targets and firing at four simultaneously. Developed by Russia's KBP Instrument Design Bureau and first unveiled in 2010 as an evolution of the Tunguska system, this tracked or wheeled platform has seen extensive combat use, exporting to over 20 countries and proving its mettle against everything from Ukrainian drones to Western missiles, though it's also faced vulnerabilities exposed in recent strikes. We'll unpack everything about the Pantsir S-1, from its jaw-dropping capabilities and technical breakdown to its strategic role in integrated air defenses, fun facts that'll surprise you, and the latest factual news straight from ongoing developments as of September 23, 2025, including recent Ukrainian successes against it in Crimea and Russia's expansions in Moscow. So, grab a snack, get comfy, and let's lock onto everything you need to know about this missile gun marvel. The Panzer S-1's capabilities are what make it a versatile point defense system. Engineered specifically for short to medium range air defense to protect against low altitude threats like cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, also known as UAVs, which are remotely piloted aircraft for surveillance or attack, precision guided bombs and rotary wing aircraft that slip past longer range systems like the S-400, providing a layered shield with its hybrid missile and gun armament that can engage targets from as low as 5 meters altitude up to 15 kilometers with missiles reaching 20 kilometers horizontally and cannons effective out to four kilometers. At its core, this system excels in rapid reaction, using its phased array radar to detect threats up to 36 kilometers away in search mode and track up to 20 simultaneously with electro-optical backup for all-weather ops, firing up to 49M331 surface-to-air missiles, solid-fueled rockets with high-explosive fragmentation warheads traveling at Mach 3.5 or about 1,200 meters per second, to intercept aerodynamic targets at up to 15 kilometers altitude, while the dual two A42 30mm autocannons deliver 12,000 rounds per minute of high explosive incendiary or armor piercing shells for close in shredding of drones or incoming munitions within two kilometers. This dual threat approach, missiles for standoff and guns for saturation, allows the Panzer S1 to handle diverse attacks, like a swarm of loitering munitions or a mix of cruise missiles and helicopters, with a reaction time under 5 seconds from detection to fire and its mobility on either a tracked GM352 chassis for rough terrain or wheeled Kamaz 6x6 for roads, ensures it can reposition quickly to avoid counter-battery fire all while its electronic warfare suite jams incoming radar seekers or provides decoy flares. In operational terms, the Panzer S-1 can safeguard convoys by creating a protective dome, intercepting drones at low altitudes where missiles excel, and switching to guns for close threats or support forward bases by engaging aircraft in cluttered urban skies, with its four-missile ready-to-fire salvo reloadable in minutes for sustained defense. Its export variants like the Panzer S-1M extend this with improved radars for better low-altitude performance against sea-skimming missiles, making it a go-to for nations like the United Arab Emirates or Algeria facing regional air threats. Let's break down the technical specs and how the Panzer S-1 operates in practice, because KBP's engineering here is a clever fusion of missile and artillery tech, creating a self-contained battery on a single vehicle that's as deployable as an infantry fighting vehicle, but packs the punch of a dedicated air defense unit. The base system measures about 6.1 meters long, 3 meters wide, 
and 4 meters tall on its track chassis, weighing 22 tons, powered by a V8 diesel engine producing 190 kilowatts or 255 horsepower for a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour, about 37 miles per hour, on roads and a range of 500 kilometers, with the wheeled variant hitting 70 kilometers per hour for faster road marches. The radar suite features a 1RS211-4111 search and tracking antenna with electronic beam steering for 360-degree coverage, detecting aircraft up to 36 kilometers away and missiles at 20 kilometers, while the optoelectronic director with thermal imaging and laser rangefinder handles jamming-resistant targeting down to 5 meters altitude, all integrated into the 1K12-22818 combat control system for automated engagement modes. The nine M331 missiles, each 165 centimeters long and weighing 90 kilograms with a 5.5 kilogram warhead, use radio command guidance for initial acquisition and proximity fuses to detonate one meter from the target, achieving a 90% kill probability against aircraft and 70% against cruise missiles. While the two A42 cannons fire 250 rounds per minute, each of high explosive incendiary tracer shells up to four kilometers, shredding drones or warheads with airburst programming. Operationally, the flow is seamless. The radar scans in azimuth elevation mode, detects a threat like a Bayraktar TB2 drone at 15 kilometers, classifies it via algorithms, assigns missiles or guns based on range, firing two 9M331s for standoff or switching to cannons for close-in while the crew of three monitors via digital displays and can override for manual mode, all protected by the vehicle's armored cab against small arms and shrapnel. This makes the Panzer S1 a point defense king, with a battery of four to six vehicles covering a brigade's assets against saturation attacks, and its export success stems from its truck-like logistics, simple to maintain with off-the-shelf parts. The Panzer S-1 strategic role is crucial in Russia's integrated air defense network, serving as a short-range layer to protect S-400 batteries or forward troops from low-flying threats that evade longer-range systems, with its hybrid armament providing volume fire against drone swarms seen in Ukraine, while its mobility lets it leapfrog positions to avoid artillery. For export customers like Syria or Venezuela, it's a cost-effective shield against Western air power, though vulnerabilities to electronic jamming or saturation have been exposed in recent conflicts, prompting upgrades like the Panzer S1M with better low-altitude performance. Fun fact, the Panzer S1's nickname Greyhound from NATO comes from its speedy track chassis, but in Russia, it's Taurus for its self-propelled agility and it once downed a Ukrainian drone swarm in seconds during a 2023 test. Another cool tidbit, its 30mm cannons can fire smart programmable rounds that airburst at the perfect height to shred quadcopters, turning it into a drone killer extraordinaire. The latest news as of September 23, 2025, has the Panzer S-1 back in the headlines with fresh reports of Ukrainian drone strikes crippling one in Crimea just hours ago on September 23, where an Astra missile drone raid near Donskoya village destroyed a radar and damaged a $15 million Panzer S-1 system, marking another loss in the ongoing Black Sea air defense battles. This follows Russia's expansion of Panzer S-1 towers around Moscow, announced on July 29, 2025, with new anti-air installations detected to bolster the capital's defenses amid escalating drone threats. In March 2025, Russia deployed the upgraded Panzer SMSV tracked variant to the front lines, featuring improved mobility and capabilities against low-flying targets. At Aero India 2025 on February 12th, Russia presented the Panzer S-1M with enhanced range and altitude, drawing export interest. Ukrainian intelligence on July 4th, 2025, claimed North Korea is operating Russian-supplied Panzer S-1 systems for airspace security. Fun fact, the Panzer S-1's dual radar can track a golf ball-sized target at 5 kilometers, showcasing its precision against small drones. Another cool tidbit? Despite losses in Ukraine, over 1,000 units have been produced since 2010, with exports to 22 countries generating billions in revenue for Russia. The Panzer S-1 anti-aircraft missile and gun system remains a vital, if vulnerable, pillar of point defense, blending missiles and cannons for versatile protection in an era of drone-dominated skies. So, what do you all think about the Panzer S-1? 
Are you impressed by its hybrid firepower, curious about its upgrades, or got thoughts on its role in modern conflicts? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends who love defense tech, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for more deep dives into the systems shaping global security. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.